My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco in 1940. I'm 24 right now. And you worked in uh, motion pictures in Hong Kong? Yes, uh, since I was around six years old. And when did you leave Hong Kong? 1959, when I was 18. I see. Now look over to me, Bruce, as we talk. I uh, understand you just had a baby boy? Yeah. And uh, you've lost a little sleep over it, have you? Oh, three nights. <laughs> and tell the crew what time uh, they shoot the pictures in Hong Kong. Well, it's mostly uh, in the morning because it's kind of noisy in Hong Kong, you know, around three million people there. And so every time when you have picture, it's mostly, say, around 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. I see. They'd love that there. And you went to college in the United States? Yes. And what did you study? Uh, philosophy. I see. Now, you told me earlier today that karate and uh, jiu-jitsu are not the most powerful of the best forms of uh, oriental fighting. What is the most powerful of the best form? Well, <clears throat> it's bad to say the best, but uh, <laughs> in my opinion, I think Kung Fu is pretty good. Would well, you tell us a little bit about Kung Fu? Well, Kung Fu is originated in China. It is the ancestor of karate and <coughs> jiu-jitsu. It's more of a complete system, and it's more fluid. By that I mean it's more flowing. There is continuity in movement instead of uh, one movement, two movement, and then stop. Would you look right into the camera lens and explain the principle oh. of the glass of water as it applies to Kung Fu? Well, Kung Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Why? Because uh, water is the softest substance in the world, but yet it can penetrate the hardest rock or anything, granite, you name it. Uh, water also is insubstantial. By that I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So every Kung Fu man is trying to do that, to be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. I see. What's the difference between a Kung Fu punch and a karate punch? Well, a karate punch is like an iron bar, whack. A Kung Fu punch is like an iron chain with an iron ball attached to the end and it go wang and it hurt inside. Okay. First, show me the movements in the classical Chinese theater. The classical Chinese well, theater? Well, you know what we talked about in the office. How they walk and how they start to move. Well, in the uh, Chinese opera, they have the warrior and then the scholar. The way the, war the warrior walk will be something like this. Walking this way, straight, come out, bend, straight, and then walk out again. An ordinary scholar would be just like a female, a weakling, 90 pounds in child Alice. <laughs> You'll be just walking, you know, like a girl, real, shoulder up and everything. So by the way they walk, you can immediately tell who they right, are. Right, uh, what character they represent. Now, uh, show us some Kung Fu movements. There is the finger jab, there is the punch, there is the back fist and then low. Of course, then they use leg, straight at the groin, all come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start back from here and then come back. <laughs> well, uh, Kung Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve forms. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying mantis. This is a crane form. Let's start off. This is one of the movement involved. Show us one more movement and then we'll be all through. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> 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 they have the tiger that start like a tiger. Using claw to claw the face or the beak of the crane to the eyes move. This is some of the movement involved. Thank you very much. 